Hello everybody and welcome for a quick look around this lovely, very clean and shiny and quick looking white shark 265 to give you an idea of her layout etc so as you can see we're just standing off the port bow and you can see we've got a small bow sprit there we've got uh, an anchor looks like a bruce anchor there sitting in the bow roller and if i just lift up the anchor locker lid from here we can see nice deep locker there we've got an electric windlass and a remote control all the things there for a nice easy time at sea really good and of course we've got a break in the guardrails there just to allow you access to that which is great but just start looking at the guardrails we can see they go all the way back to the instrument console there where they're uh, carried on by more handrails. So we're feeling like we're going to be really safe inside this boat. The inside uh, is buried beneath these uh, really nice uh, high uh, bulwarks there. So plenty of shelter there and plenty of depth for just feeling safe, I think. But let's carry on along the, uh, the port side here. If we just uh, look down, you can see we've got a couple of uh, nice spangly stripes there. We've got a rubbing strake, a stainless rubbing strake set onto uh, some rubber all the way around the uh, outside of the hull you can see we've got a nice shiny blue hull a bit of uh, salt there on the mo on there at the moment but that should all just uh, wash off with a bit of fresh water more hull graphics there and as we come back to the stern where it finishes off you can see we have a fishing rod holder here and uh, that we cleated on here this is a retractable cleat as you can see over on the far side two big fat powerful yamaha 200 sitting on the back end there ready for lots of speed and if we just look down here you can see we've got a small swim platform and uh, out of there does fold a nice swim ladder we have a grab rail on the back there or on the stern and another grab rail there so nice and easy to get in and out of and i suspect i've just seen we have a small more cockpit shower underneath there yes we do lovely and uh, we can enclose the cockpit as well with as, as well with the uh, the small co companionway door there and of course you can see we've got more provision for fish hold uh, rod holders etc on the after bulkhead there and the ski pole all set up for fun and frolics looking up we can see we've got the uh, bimini there and uh, that looks like it should give us good cover for the cockpit in the sun and possibly the rain too but I will hop on and the first thing we notice is we're looking lovely and nice and clean and white. We've got grey upholstery combined, uh, just contrasting with the uh, the white fibreglass, which looks great, or the, the gel coat. And we've got nice teak decking here as well. So that should stop your feet boiling in the sun, but also keep them a bit warmer if it is cold. Grab rails here, here and here too as well. So something for these people to hang on to. And underneath this seat, we've got, uh, we've got uh, tanks, we've got batteries, we've got lots and lots of space. We've got to build, we've got two speakers inset there we've got a bilge pump down a manual bilge pump too uh, so lots of possibility for that area and then just looking up again down the side we can see we've got to companionway moving forwards same again on the starboard side and inset into the uh, the coach roof here you can see we've got windows which is going to give us light down below so we'll see down there in a moment looking further up in fact if i just move forwards and look at the helm seating here so these are bolsters rather than seats but uh, if we open them up then you can see we've got nice lockers inset behind those two which is really useful for your bits of rope your suntan lotion etc massive speaker just underneath the helm i wonder if they've done that on purpose and then port and starboard here we've got more handrails which are just inside of the guardrail so really nice and safe going forwards uh, we've got uh, fiddle shelves here so you can put what you like here should be safe we've got uh, lockers here for your uh, suntan lotion etc uh, a, a small uh, charging port there and a compass up here and if you just look down in front of the uh, the helm area we've got wheel steering we've got uh, two throttles here with um, your uh, trim control uh, we've got your electrics panel here and up here you can see we've got all the yamaha instrumentation we've got tachometers fuel management and speed there and uh, underneath here a nice flat screen garmin how wonderful is that so if you just look up we can see also we're just behind this really clear strong looking plexiglass screen too so uh, feeling like we're going to be protected from the elements at high speed absolutely wonderful Coming around uh, towards the front, which is nice and easy through this companion way, we open up onto the foredeck where you can see to the right we've got some, and some nice bench seating looking forwards and in front of that we've got some even nicer sunbeds there so uh, looking very, very nice and comfortable but of course we can put those away if we want to and just have a hard deck there. We've got uh, two stereo speakers, we have provision for two cockpit tables here too which are stored down, down below, we'll see those in a minute and if you want to we can lift this plexiglass cover out and this all hinges up and that gives us a massive great big locker underneath the four peak there as well loads of room here for i'd say three to four people easy and we're inside the boat we're inside these 
bulkheads. We're inside the guardrails, looking nice and safe, I think. So the interior of this boat, all we need to do is unlock it, lift it up. There we go, and we're in. Very nice indeed. This companionway lifts right up out of the way, so no clunking of heads. We're on gas struts as well, brilliant. And uh, to get inside, it's just a, a single lip over, a couple of steps down, and on the left-hand side, we'll find a berth. On the right-hand side, we'll find a berth. Uh, in the middle, we'll find a fridge and a sink as well. But let's go in for a quick look. And uh, I'll sit down on the starboard side. Here's the berth on the port side. So we're uh, plenty long enough. I wouldn't say they're hugely wide, but actually I don't think they're narrow either. We've got some cushioning around here too. Looking up, we can see we've got the windows letting some light in. We've got good headroom as well, good head lining. And on the after bulkhead here, we've got uh, we've got the electrics panel. We've got uh, JL audio control for the stereo. We've got uh, a sp uh, sorry the DSC nav. Uh, um, VHF and also we've got 240 volts down here with USB charging as well so we can charge our phones whilst we're asleep so I'd assess that this place would be really ample for a weekend or a bit longer if you're away just to get away get your head down after a few uh, drinks down the pub perhaps and uh, yeah there's the companion way out nice and easy so uh, really great space and uh, really great that they've taken the time and trouble to design it into this boat whilst not uh, taking away or detracting from her look so this has been tim from boat Shed drop brokers taking you for a really quick look around the uh, whole of this white shark 265 thanks for watching and uh, we hope to see you again soon take care